Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we want to share with you a real interview that happened recently when the applicant failed the interview. There are some common reasons for this case. Please watch the full video and see why he failed the interview. It will help you learn and get well prepared for your U.S. citizenship test. Good morning. I have an appointment for the citizenship interview. Hi there. Please show me your appointment letter and your green card. Yes, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Please give me a few more minutes. I will check your appointment on the system. Take your time. Thank you. All right. I found your information. Please take your appointment letter back with you and have a seat somewhere over there. Someone will call you in a moment. Thank you so much. You're welcome. P9, Mr. Tai Tran? Yes, that's me. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'll be conducting your naturalization interview today. Please follow me. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How's your day going? It's going great, thank you. Now, I need to see your appointment letter, your green card, your ID, and all your passports, please. Yes, here you go. Thank you. You can put your belongings on the desk. Please remain standing and raise your right hand. Now, I need to place you under oath. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Thank you. Are you feeling well right now? Yes, I feel good, but still nervous. Did you have any trouble getting here? No, I had no trouble. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I believe in the form of government and want to vote. Good. I need to take your picture and fingerprints right now. Can you place your right index finger on the scanner? Looks good. Now switch to your left index finger, please. All right. Can you look at the camera right here for me? Please don't smile. Just maintain your neutral expression. Perfect. I will start with the English reading and writing test. Are you able to read the sentence on the tablet? I'm sorry. How can I turn on the screen? Oh, I'm sorry. Please just touch the screen. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay. Can you read the sentence out loud? 
What is the largest state? Okay, now I will say a sentence. Can you please write it down for me? You can use a stylus pen. I'm sorry, can I write it down on the paper instead? I don't feel comfortable with the stylus pen. Okay, here is a paper. Please take whatever pen is in front of you. Thank you. Alaska is the largest state. Alaska is the largest state. Good. Now I will move on to the civics history and government test. Please do not hesitate to ask me to repeat the questions if you want to. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Chess and balances. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Be loyal to these United States. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. No, it's not correct. Please listen again. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Excellent. You passed the civics test. I will review your N-400 application right now. How are you eligible for naturalization? I am 37 years old and I have been a lawful permanent resident for 10 years. Good. What is your current legal name? My current legal name is Hai Van Chen. Can you verify your first name? My first name is Hai Van. Have you used any other names since birth? No, I haven't used any other name since I was born. Would you like to change your name? I like the name Tommy Chen. It will be my new name. Here is a paper. Can you write it down for me? Yes, thank you. All right. What's your date of birth? My date of birth is June 18. 1987. What is your social security number? 667A4637. You got your green card through your sister. Is that correct? Excuse me, officer. Can you repeat that, please? You got your green card through your sister. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. What date did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on May 24, 2017. I'm sorry, 
I have a mistake when I fill out the date on N400 application. Can you correct it for me? Okay, I will correct it right now. The date you became a permanent resident is May 24th, 2017. All right, it's corrected. Thank you. What is your country of nationality? Vietnam. Were you born in Vietnam? Yes, I was born in Vietnam. Please, tell me your phone number. 624-544-428 Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. What is your email address? Hyven87 at gmail.com How tall are you? I'm 5 feet 5 inches. Is either of your parents a U.S. citizen? No, my parents are not U.S. citizens. No, my parents are permanent residents. Do your parents live in the U.S.? Yes, they do. All right. Where do you currently live? I currently live at Tree Trail, McPie Lane, Fountain Valley, California, 92708. You live at this address from September 23rd, 2018. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. You own this house, correct? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Do you own this house? No, I am renting this house. Is your mailing address the same as your current address? Yes, it is the same. Where did you live before this address? I lived in Sacramento before. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous right now. I cannot remember the address. It's okay. Did you live at 6201 Calgary Avenue, Sacramento, California, 95841? Yes, I lived at that address before. All right. You lived at this address after you came to the U.S. Is it correct? Yet correct. Where else have you lived in the last five years? No, that's it. Have you traveled outside the U.S. in the last five years? Yes, I have one trip outside the U.S. in the last five years. When was that trip? I left the U.S. on February 28, 2023 and returned on April 4, 2023. Where did you go on this trip? I went to Korea on my vacation. You said you only had one trip outside the U.S. in the last five years. Did you ever go to Canada in 2019? No, I did not go to Canada in 2019. Please listen carefully and remember if you went to Canada in 2019. I didn't go to Canada before. On our record, you left the U.S. on May 17, 2019 and returned on May 19, 2019. Mm, I'm sorry, officer. I totally forgot. All right. Now please tell me what you do for a living. I'm sorry, can you rephrase the question? Are you currently working? Yes, I'm working at a nail technician. Do you work at PS Salon and Spa? Yes, I do. How long have you been working there? 
for years. Where else have you worked in the last five years? I worked at Andy Nail before. You worked there from January second, two thousand sixteen, to March third, two thousand eighteen. Is that correct? Yet it correct. Anywhere else? No. What is your marital status? I am married. When did you get married? I got married on May fourteen, two thousand eleven. How many times have you been married? I've been married one time. What is the date of birth of your spouse? July ten, nineteen eighty eight. How many times has your spouse been married? My wife had been married once. What is the immigration status for your spouse? She a permanent resident. All right. How many children do you have? I had three children. Are all your children biological to you? Yes, they are. Where were they born? My son was born in Vietnam, and my two daughters were born in America. Are all of your children permanent residents? Yes. Please listen to this question carefully. Sorry, officer. Can you repeat that slowly, please? Are all your children permanent residents? My son was a permanent resident, and two my daughters were U.S. citizens. Okay. Do you have any adopted children? No, I don't have any adopted children. All right. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? In writing or any other way? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you got your green card? No. Sorry. Yes. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What is a mental institution? It means I'm sorry, I forgot it. I'm so nervous. I don't know how to explain right now. All right. Do you pay your taxes on time every year? Yes, I pay taxes on time every year. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever supported the overthrow of the government of your home country by force or violence? No, never. What does overthrow a government mean? To remove the government by using force. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated? Either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party. No. Tell me, what is the Communist Party? Yes, I understand, but I forgot how to explain. Okay. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? No.
I'm sorry. Yes. What is oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever worked in a detention facility? Sorry, officer. I didn't understand you. Can you repair the question? Have you ever worked in a place where people are forced to stay? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does to be arrested mean? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to define this word. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I received a traffic ticket in 2019. What was the reason you got the ticket? I passed through a red line. How much did you pay? I paid $100. Have you ever been found guilty of a crime or offense? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. What is rehabilitative program? I'm sorry, I understand, but I cannot explain. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials trying to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What is immigration benefit? Hmm. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What does non-combatant services mean? It means... Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever been ordered to be removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. How do you define misrepresentation? I'm sorry, I don't know. All right, I cannot approve your application today. You will have another chance for your interview. This is a notice of the result. Next time, please review your information carefully and study more word definitions. I know you were so nervous today, but you need to be well prepared for the test. We will send you a schedule for the second interview. You should receive it within 90 days. Do you have any questions? No, I don't. All right. I will walk you back to the waiting area. You can leave now. Thank you.